Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video we are going to be making pickles and I will be doing this pickle in the video. He's going to have little bumps and a little bit of a curve to him but you can also make it four other different ways. So if you want to make him bumpy but straight with no curve you're just going to do a single crochet where I do increases and decreases in the round. If you want to make him curved but with no bumps, then you are going to follow the pattern with the increases and decreases but leave out the little bumps. And if you want to make him straight with no bumps at all, you just are going to go around and around and when I do an increase or a decrease or a bump, you're just going to put a single crochet. And because the plushie yarn has become quite popular and many people are asking how to make a pattern bigger, I've also done him in the plushie yarn. He looks a little more pre-pickle, like a cucumber. But you can follow this exact same pattern and you will get this as your end result. So for the larger one, I used a number six Bernat blanket yarn and a 5.5 millimeter hook. And for these smaller ones, I used a number four yarn and a 4.25 millimeter hook. And you can use pretty much any size eyes you want. Um, these ones are eight millimeter. These ones are 18 or 20 millimeter, and I believe these are just 12 millimeter googly eyes. This is a crochet along, so I will be doing every stitch with you, but if for some reason I do something you don't understand, there will be a 30 second drop down at the top of the screen of every row for you to follow along. And don't forget, if you enjoy my videos, hit the subscribe button. Not only does that help me out, but that will also notify you every time I load a new video. Okay, I think that's everything. So grab your yarn and let's get started. So we're going to begin with our loop and you can make your starting loop any way you want as long as you have the same amount of stitches in the first row. And I'm just going to make a knot with a loop on the end um, as if you're going to chain. And we're going to be putting 12 single crochets in there so you might want to make it a little bit bigger if you're doing it my way. You're going to insert your hook. Grab your yarn, pull up and through, chain one. And that does not count as a stitch. That just attaches your yarn to your loop. And for round one, we're gonna do 12 single crochets into the loop. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. And I'm just pulling my tail that I crocheted over to tighten that center a little bit. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for round two, you're going to do one single crochet, 
one increase. Repeat that sequence all the way around for a total of 18. So one, and then an increase for two and three. And then repeat that again, four, and an increase, five and six. Repeat again, seven, and an increase, eight and nine, 10, and an increase, 11 and 12, 13, and an increase, 14 and 15, 16, and an increase, 17 and 18. Row three is just going to be 18 single crochets all the way around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17 and 18. You'll notice it's starting to curve a bit. Make sure it's curving away from you so that it's sitting like this and not like this. So you want it to be you, your hook, and then your project. Row four, we're going to start our bump. So remember, if you want it to be a smooth pickle, you are just going to do a single crochet where we do a bump. So we're going to do five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. And then for a bump, we're just going to do what I call a puff stitch of three. So we're going to yarn over, go in the next stitch, grab our yarn, and pull through and up. And we're going to do that three times. So that was once. Yarn over into that same stitch. Grab your yarn, pull up and through. And that's twice. And we're going to do that one more time. Yarn over in that same stitch. Grab your yarn pull up and through and now we're going to grab our working yarn and we're going to pull it through all the loops on the hook and if you happen to catch a string or drop a string uh, you're better off to pull this out and redo your bump from scratch instead of trying to figure out where you missed your string so that was um, our bump was stitch six so we should have 12 more to go but i'm going to count consecutively so this will be seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
and 18. And all our rows are going to end in 18 until we get to the last two to close it up. Row 5, we're going to do 16 single crochets and then a bump and then finish the round for 18 single crochets. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, make sure you're going the right stitches around your bump, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then we're going to do our bump. So yarn over and in three times in that same stitch. So that's once, twice, and three times, and then pull through all the loops. And then we have one stitch left for 18. That was 17, so be 18. Row six, we're just going to do 18 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, make sure you're going the right stitches, 17, and 18. Now we're going to start our increases and our decreases for the curve. So if you want to go straight, you do a single crochet when I do an increase, and you do a single crochet when I do a decrease. Um, so it will be row seven. We're going to do an increase, eight single crochets, decrease, seven single crochets. So increase one and two in the same stitch. Then we're going to do eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to do a decrease. And remember, if you're going for a straight pickle, it's going to be 18 single crochets all the way around. And now we should have seven single crochets left for a total of 18 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Row eight, we're going to do nine single crochets, a bump, and then finish off the row for a total of 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we'll do our bump for ten. So yarn over and in the same stitch three times. One, two, three, and then pull that yarn all the way through all those loops. So our next single crochet will be 11. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Row nine is going to be one single crochet one increase, eight single crochets, a decrease, and then we should have six single crochets to finish off the round for a total of 18. So one single crochet, increase, and then we're going to have eight single crochets, one, two, <clears throat> Excuse me, <clears throat> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then a decrease, and we should have six single crochets left. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Row 10, we're going to do six single crochets, a bump in the seventh stitch, um, a bump in the 15th stitch, and then finish off for a total of 18. So we're going to start with six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, Six, and our seventh stitch will be a bump. So yarn over and in the same stitch three times. One, two, three. Oops. Oh, see, there, I made my mistake finally on my bump. So I'm just going to take that out and redo it. One, two, three and pull through. There we go. So our next stitch will be eight for a single crochet. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. 14, and our 15th stitch will be another bump. So yarn over and in three times. One, two, and three. Pull through. And then we should have three single crochets left. So this was 15, 16, 17 and 18. Row 11, we're going to do two single crochets, an increase, eight single crochets, a decrease, and then we should have five single crochets. 
for a total of 18. So one, two, increase, and then eight single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then a decrease, and then five single crochets, I think, one, two, three, four, and five. Row 12, you're going to do one single crochet, a bump, and then finish off your round for a total of 18. So one, and then our little bump. So yarn over in the same stitch three times. One, two, and three. And then pull through all those loops. So that was stitch two. And I'm just going to count consecutively three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18. Um, I think maybe we'll put our eyes on now. Um, just to make it a little easier, especially if you're doing the plush yarn, because you guys are probably about this long right now. All right, so rub your eyes. And we're going to be putting them in um, between row seven and eight. So one is your loop row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So right in about here. And I put mine in the first. Um, the first stitch of this row here. So we're just kind of just down from the bump if you had a bump or if you have it kind of even and flat with your last stitch on the left side here. It's going to be about one, two, about the third hole over. And then we're going to go over about to the sixth hole. So if this is one where you put your eye, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm actually going to do five on this one because when I do the cheek, I want my cheek to be inside this bump a bit. It doesn't really matter where you put it as long as... Um, if you're curving it, your curve is going to be here. So you want it to be, it's going to curve like this. Or if it's your first one, you could always put your eyes in at the end so you can kind of see how it's curving. But it is a little trickier to get up in there. Doable though. I did it on my second last row, so 
on my first one. Whoops, look what I did. There we go. Okay, we should be on row 13, which is going to be three single crochets, an increase, eight single crochets, a decrease, and then we should have four single crochets left for a total of 18. So one, two, three, and an increase. And then eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we're going to do a decrease. And then we should have four single crochets left. One, two, three, and on something here. Four. Oh, still caught on something. There we, nope. There we go. Four. Row 14, we're going to do five single crochets, a bump in the sixth. Then we're going to single crochet um, and then put a bump in the eleventh. And then we should have seven single crochets left. So five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and then a bump for the sixth stitch. So yarn over and in the same stitch three times, so that's one, two, three, and then grab your yarn, pull through all the loops. I'm going to keep counting consecutively. So that was six. The single crochet will be seven, eight, nine, ten, and our 11th stitch will be our bump. So yarn over and in the same stitch three times. One, two, three. Grab your yarn and pull through. So our next stitch will be 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Row 15 will be four single crochets, an increase, eight single crochets, a decrease, and then three single crochets at the end. So one, two, three, four, and an increase, and then eight single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we're going to do a decrease. Nine, 
And then we should have three single crochets left for a total of 18 in this row. And maybe I'll mention, especially if you're doing the plush yarn, um, maybe start stuffing it as you go. I'm going to be stuffing mine um, just before I start decreasing the, the bottom curve here. Row 16 is just going to be 18 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Row 17, we're going to do five single crochets, an increase, eight single crochets, a decrease, and then we should have two single crochets left for a total of 18 stitches. So five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five. And then increase. And then eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. seven, eight, and then a decrease, and then our last two stitches for a total of 18. Row 18, you're going to do four single crochets, a bump in the fifth stitch, uh, nine single crochets, a bump in the 15th stitch, and then we should have three single crochets left for a total of 18. So four single crochets. One, two, three, four, and then a bump in the fifth. So yarn over and in three times in that same stitch. One, two, and here's our third. Pull through. So this will be stitch six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 will be our um, little puff stitch. So yarn over and in three times. One, two, three, and pull through. Our next stitch is 16, 17, and 18. Row 19 is going to be six single crochets, 
one increase, eight single crochets, one decrease, and we should have one single crochet left for a total of 18. So six single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then your increase. And then eight single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then a decrease. And one single crochet left for a total of 18. Row 20, we're going to do 13 single crochets, a bump in the 14th stitch, and then four single crochets to finish off for a total of 18. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, whoops, that was 14, shoot, 13. Um, so stitch 14 is our bump. I mean, it doesn't really matter where you put your bumps, but so yarn over and in three times. One, two, and three, and then pull through. So our next stitch is 15, and we should have four left. 15, 16, 17, and 18. Row 21, we're gonna do seven single crochets, one increase, eight single crochets, decrease. So seven single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, and then we're gonna do our increase, or yeah, increase one and two, and then eight single crochets one, two, three, four, five, six. seven, eight, and then a decrease for the last of the row there. Row 22, we're gonna do nine single crochets, a bump in the 10th um, for the 10th stitch, and then eight single crochets to finish it off. So nine single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, 
Oops. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And then our tenth stitch will be our bump. So yarn over in the same stitch three times. One. Two. Three. And pull through. So we should have eight single crochets left, but I'm going to count consecutively. So this will be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Row 23, we're going to do three single crochets, a bump for the fourth stitch, and then we should have 14 single crochets left for a total of 18. So one, two, three, and then our little bump. So yarn over in the same stitch three times. One, two, and three and pull through all those loops so that was our fourth stitch so this will be five and I'm going to count consecutively six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Now there's only two rows left, so I'm going to stuff mine. So we're just going to get that nice and tight down at the top. And your pickle will curve, but if you want to give it a little bit of an extra curve, try and put the stuffing up forward here. And kind of manipulate the curve as you're stuffing it. Assuming you're going for the curved one, otherwise just stick her all straight in. Now I think that's probably good. I don't want it too full so I can finish the last two rows. And it'll really curve, you'll notice at the bottom here. Once you get your last couple rows in. So it should start looking like that if you're doing the curved one. I'm going to finish the last two rows and then add a little bit of stuffing as I go here. So row 24. You're going to do one single crochet, one decrease. Oops, I hid my, I repeat that all the way around. I hid my little stitch marker down in there when I was stuffing it. There we go. All right, so one. And a decrease for two. And just repeat that around. Three. 
and a decrease for four. Try not to get the stuffing in your stitch. Five and a decrease for six. Seven and a decrease for eight. Nine and a decrease for twelve. Oops, 10, sorry. 11 and a decrease for 12 now. Add a little bit more stuffing if you need it. I'm gonna do my next row and add before I close. So for row 25, it's just gonna be six decreases. One, that's two decreases, this will be three decreases, this will be four, whoops, four decreases, this turn tail in my way. And then five decreases. And six decreases. And then we're just gonna slip stitch in the next stitch and tie that off. Leave yourself a bit of a tail if you want to make um, if you want to make some kind of a tie up top because I'm going to take this tail, we're going to thread it up and through, and use that same piece of yarn to make the loop. So now is your last chance to. Um, stuff whatever you're going to stuff in there. I'm going to take my stitch marker out and add a little bit of stuffing in the bottom here. Um, while I'm doing this, I sometimes forget to mention that I have a craft page where you can share your um, anything you make with me, you don't have to join it or follow or anything. You can just go down into the description under the video where it says more. And you might have to click it twice, like a second place, and then um, scroll down and you will see um, sh Facebook share or craft page. I don't know what I always write on there. And then if you just follow that link... There is a post, I think it's called Featured Post, you got to click on and then you can comment a picture or whatever you like in there. Okay, let's close this bad guy up. I definitely left a lot of tail here. Um, also, if you like to make leave a comment or a thumbs up, that's always appreciated. I try to get back to everybody. So you're just going to be going in and out the top of your last row here. If you happen to send a request though, keep in mind that I do not respond to that comment because I leave it in my unresponded files until I've either gotten to that request or I have to this hasn't happened yet, or if I maybe can't figure it out and I'm going to have to say sorry, I can't do that. And then um, tie your knot. So 
So if I haven't responded to your comment, it's not because I haven't seen it. It's just because I plan on making it and I am just saving it. So we're just going to bring that up. And I had to go through a couple of times to get to the top. So you're just going to come out and then go back in that same stitch you went out. And keep doing that. To, uh, oh, I can make it. Keep doing that till you get to the top. And then I just tied a loop here, but you could add another um, piece of string folded over into one of these and you could braid it. Or you could not put string on at all. If you want to make it a keychain, you can add a little, just a little keychain fobby on there. But since I never know what I'm doing with these, I just usually tie a little loop up. And then if I change my mind, you can always cut that off and hide it down inside. And I'm just going to put that somewhere out the back. If you're a regular viewer of mine, I'm just going to say I'm kind of proud of myself today. I just did this whole thing um, looking in the phone screen and not at what I was actually doing. So, you, if you know how much I don't like videoing, I'm pretty proud of that today. Okay, and it slowed me down, so if I go too fast, that slows me down a little bit, and then you don't have to do all the pausing if you're used to pausing. Okay, grab a... Um, whatever color you're using for a mouth, if you're putting a mouth on. And you can do your mouth so many ways. Um, I'm just going to show you a quick, simple little way to go. So I want my mouth about two rows down. So if you have their eyes in the same spot as me, it'll kind of be even with um, where this little bump is. So this is where you put your eyes in, and then I went down one, two, and then I went one row down to insert my hook, and you're going to put it whatever the width of your mouth is going to be. I think I'm going to make this guy have a big mouth, so maybe not. Let's see. And then you're just going to go across, and then come back out where you started. Oh, he is a bit grumpy, little pickle. Are you a little grumpster? Then you're just going to tie that. I'm going to do mine twice. And then you're just going to go back in that same hole. And you're going to put those ends out the back. I really need to get a bit of a needle with a bigger opening on it here. There we go. And don't pull that too hard because you don't want your mouth to sink in. Just pull your knot down a bit. Give that a cut. Hide that. And double check you didn't make a little hole there. Fix that if you did. And then we'll do some cheeks. 
And for the cheeks, we're just going to insert somewhere um, in the middle, top or above the nose or the mouth. I think I'm going to go under. And I just went one stitch over from my mouth, assuming you have it centered. So I'm just under the eye here, and my other hole is just under the eye on the outside. Pull that through, but leave a little bit for tying. And when I did the when I did the um, smooth ones, I went up and down, and then when I did the bumpy ones, I went across, and I'm gonna go across on this one. So I'm just gonna go around this stitch. And I'm gonna do that one more time. but I'm gonna come out over onto the other side now. So I'm one stitch over from where the mouth is. And then we're gonna make this cheek across. So once, and then try and go back in and then come out. And you can go around this as many times as you want. Just try and make sure you do it the same on both sides. A little bumps in the way a bit, I see. I should have went up here, but. Okay. I'll just fix these a little bit. Then you're gonna tie them. and you put them out the back. Make sure you go in the same hole that these are coming out of. So right back in that same hole and then out the back. There. And we are done. Um, if you're adding googly eyes, um, I would um, find good glue that you're using. You could put them on now, or if you put them on before. Um, let's see. So um, if you enjoyed my video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Because not only does that help me out, you will be notified every time I load a new video. And I always load my video here and I don't share it anywhere for a couple of days. So you're the only ones that see it until I start sharing on my craft page. About three or four um, Facebook groups. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe. And happy crocheting.